Hello everyone. Today I will be explaining how to understand the information that's shown in an M an M P to a PV module. Okay. Now we have in this pictures a 51 multicrystalline PV module. If you look at the back of this module, you will find the data sheet or the name plate of it. So this is the name plate of that one of that PV module. Okay, now in this in this name plate, we can see that there are there's like some information. Okay, but we will just talk about the most important information in this name plate. Okay, now we have first the peak power, which is the maximum power. It's fifty watt. And we have the maximum power current is 2.62. The maximum power voltage 19.12. The short circuit current 2.8. And the open circuit voltage 22.68 volts. Now we have to know that these values were measured at the standard test condition these values okay where is the air mass this air mass equals 1.5 the solar irradiance 1000 watt per square meter the temperature is 25 celsius okay STC standard test condition okay now air mass is 1.5 solar radiance again 1000 watt per square meter and the temperature is 25 Celsius okay now what does air mass mean okay air mass equals to 1 divided by cosine theta and theta is the angle between the sun line this line okay the sunlight line and the perpendicular line on the surface of our hair so this angle is theta okay we use it to find the air mass one divided by the cosine of this angle okay if you assume that this sun is right here perpendicular to this surface then the the angle is gonna be zero so cosine zero one so one by one is gonna be one so the air mass is one but in this case in this test we use an air mass of 1.5 that means that the, this theta this angle is 48.2 okay now let's start like analyze this information now we have in this diagram is the IV curve of the PV module now we have in this axis the output voltage of the module and on this axis is the output current of the module in amps and this is in volts okay now and this is the curve in the blue color here this curve okay now this point is the open circuit voltage and let me just before that just mention that this curve is because of this radiance this solar radiance which is 1000 watt per square meter at full sun if you use another solar radiance for example 500 watt per square meter so this will be different the current will be less and the voltage will will be like around the 22 the open circuit voltage i mean here okay now let's go back for our point here so this point is the open circuit voltage which is 22.68 volts okay now and this point is the short circuit current 2.8 okay now in this point 
which is the open circuit voltage now because this is an open circuit simply the current should be zero and this is like it's obvious that this is the current is zero and here the it's short circuit current so the voltage is is zero so we see the voltage is zero okay now let's like see look at this point this is like the most important point this is what, what we need here the maximum power point which is power of 50 watt p maximum equal equals 50 watt okay and the p maximum equal the voltage at this point multiply the current at this point which equal 19.9 multiplied by 2.62 and equals around 50 watt which is the maximum power okay now this maximum power point okay this point is the voltage at the maximum power which is 19.2 this point is the current at the maximum power which is 2.62 so here the maximum power 50 watt at standard test condition at 1000 watt per square meter air mass 1.5 and temperature 25 Celsius degree okay the voltage at this point at the maximum power is 19.2 which is this point here this one this point the current at the maximum power IMP equals 2.62 which is this point 2.62 current at the maximum power now the open circuit voltage which is 22.68 and it's like it's obvious that this is greater than the voltage at the maximum power because this open circuit voltage in the same way the short circuit current is 2.8 greater than the current at the maximum power Okay, this is the short this the short circuit current and this is the open circuit voltage.